Hi everybody, it's Alan from farfar8.org. Um, just want to show you through some of the uh, updates that I've been making to the Manifold module recently. Uh, again, just a reminder, this is uh, still not available to the public. Um, but I've been in contact with all the various copyright holders and, and you know, been making some good progress there. Um, so today I'd like to really thank yeah, Benjamin Boyd, uh, who's allowed use of all the art assets from the War Machine and Hordes um, uh, module. Um, and also been getting some great support from the Vassal guys. Uh, Dr. Uh, Nostromo uh, has been great help in helping me solve some of the issues I've been having. Um, so I'll talk you through some of the, the features that we have here. Um, the first thing I'd like to show, which I didn't show in the last video, were the deployment zones. So you can turn on and off the deployment zones with these buttons up the top. Uh, and these are all the standard deployments uh, for the 3x3 board. The other thing you can do is you can add module models. Uh, so, for example, there's Lady Justice. Um, obviously, I haven't created the artwork for her yet. Uh, I won't be doing that. I'll, I'll try and find somebody who can help with that. Um, you then have access to terrain. So, for example, if we want to add uh, some buildings, you can add various different building types. And those buildings uh, can be manipulated so you can rotate and change them and, and these are all things that were built into the um, War Machine module. So they're the, the very basics of just the, the miniature movement. Um, the main stuff I've been working on recently has been kind of more precise card control. So you also have access to your hand. So let's uh, shuffle this deck and draw some cards into the hand here. So there's six cards there. Okay, so I'm not going to go through those, um, but that hand is always available to you and it's always hidden from your opponent. Um, but let's say we're in the middle of playing a game and I need to flip a card. Um, there's one of two ways of doing it. You could draw a card off like this and see this hidden marker? This shows that your opponent cannot see that until you explicitly choose to flip it. So you can flip it with the keyboard, so that was Control F there, and your opponent would now see it and then we resolve whatever action, so, and then they can discard it, so that's the discard pile on the right. Um, you can also use these quick buttons that I've created here. So, for example, that's a single flip, and you note that it automatically turned a card over so your opponent could see it. Um, there's a positive or negative flip, so obviously you take a 13 if it's a positive flip, the 7 if it's a negative flip, um, and so on. We have these. And again, there's keyboard shortcuts for discard, so control D will discard. And there's a triple positive or a triple negative flip. So there are the basics of card control. You can send the cards back to the main deck, reshuffle that, and we have a new set of cards. And both decks work well. So you can see that that deck was unshuffled. Um, so it's in the order in which the cards were placed onto it, so the Black Joker was last and so on. So let's dump these back on here, uh, shuffle that, hopefully something a bit more random. So they're the basics. Um, I think there's enough to start playtesting this now, uh, so that's hopefully the next step. Alright, thanks for watching the video. Talk to you all soon.